Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to make three really cool looking glitches in After Effects. And yeah, they're all super easy. We don't need any plugins and they look amazing. So I'd say let's just go right into it. So I just made this little composition with one prepare text. And yeah, let's apply the first glitch effect, which is, yeah, this one, as you can see. And yeah, this basically just is made of one effect, which is called Wave Warp. And yeah, you can just search it in the effects tab or find it under distort. And yeah, let's just apply this real quick. And as you can see, this is just a wave and doesn't look like a glitch at all. So we have to change a few settings. So let's first of all change the wave type to noise. And let's change the height to, oh no, the height we can leave at 10. But let's change the, yeah, the whiteness to 1. And yeah, let's also change the wave speed to 0.1. And now we can see we already have a cool glitch and yeah that might be enough for you but i wanted to be like have more of these little details so we can just apply the wave warp effect again but let's put in different settings so first of all let's change the wave type to noise again but yeah this time let's change the height to 5 and yeah we can leave the whiteness at 40 and the wave speed at 1 and as you can see, we get this super cool looking glitch effect. And if we zoom in, we can see more of the details. But I think it's just like a great mixture of this, yeah, bigger glitch effect and this more detailed one. But of course, you can just deactivate one of these, however you like. And yeah, that's it for the first one. Let's take a look at this one, which I also think looks really good. And yeah, it's also simple. So let's just delete these two effects. So we can just start right over. And yeah, first of all, we need to make a new, a new layer, so let's make a new solid and we need to apply one effect, which is the fractal noise effect and yeah, you can find it under noise and grain and yeah, let's just apply it and what we will do, we make a, yeah, a glitch map basically, which we then can put on the text layer to distort it, so yeah, let's animate this upper layer first of all, so yeah, let's change the noise type to block and bring down the complexity to 3 and increase the contrast to something like 500 or 400 should look good just like this and then we can open up the transform setting and uncheck the uniform scaling so we can get access to yeah both of these scale settings and let's actually increase the whiteness by a lot so maybe something like 800 or even 900 something like this and yeah now you can already see this kind of looks like a glitch map but yeah it doesn't move at all so let's change that by yeah animating the evolution so let's go to the beginning of our animation and let's put in a keyframe for evolution and then go to the end and put in a really high value in here so i'll just go with 50 for these 10 seconds and now we can see this will move really fast, which yeah, we will then see on the text. So to do this, let's just right click our this layer and pre-compose this. And now it's really important that you have selected the, the lower setting, this one, not this one. And yeah, let's press OK and actually hide this layer or this pre-composition. And now we can go to glitch and look for the displacement map effect, which also is under distort. And let's just apply it and now we just have to go to the displacement map layer and change the yeah the yeah the layer to our glitch map and now as you can see we get this really nice animation and yeah you can just play with these settings a bit i like to put in a high value in the horizontal displacement so let's put in 10 in here and maybe keep it a bit lower on the vertical displacement so i'll just put in one in here and yeah, now we can see we get this really cool looking glitch effect. And of course you can just animate both of these keyframe things. So maybe you want this to yeah, have no glitch at the beginning and then have some glitch in here and then go back to normal again. So you can just use these both things to yeah, regulate the strength, the strength of the glitch. But yeah, let's take a look at our glass glitch. And this one is actually quite similar to the one we did. It's basically the same. But now we have these cool RGB split effects as well, so a bit of colors in here. And yeah, to do this, let's go yeah, back to our composition. And first of all, let's rename this layer to yeah one, because we need more of these. 
let's just duplicate it two times. So we have one, two and three. And let's just um, move them on the timeline a bit. So they yeah, start on different yeah, time zones basically. And yeah, you will see what this does. So let's also go to our glitch layer and duplicate this as well by pressing Ctrl D. And let's put in a fill effect to actually change the color. And let's just leave it at red. And now we can um, select the, yeah, uh, the second glitch layer. So now we have a different displacement, just like this. And now we can do this again. So let's duplicate our text layer again. And now select the third glitch layer. So we yeah, all have different, yeah, different glitches. But on the third one, let's change the color to something bluish, just like this. And yeah, as you can see, this looks a bit weird. And this one, yeah, it just affects the edges basically. And this is super simple to achieve. We just have to make sure the, yeah, this setting here is activated. So if you have these settings, just press this button down here. So you get to this, these settings. And now let's just uh, select our, yeah, the upper text layers and change the blend mode to, where is it, to color dodge. So let's just change this and for the second glitch, as well and yeah now we're already done as we can see it will take a bit to pre-render but oh no it's actually quite fast now we have this super cool looking color glitch and yeah if you want you can just turn up the yeah the glitch strength on the upper layers of the text so maybe you can put in 20 in here or something so this will be stronger and yeah this is completely up to you but yeah that's it thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time